Climate change has made our weather system irregular and unpredictable. Extreme rainfall can cause massive flooding with uh, both material damages and human losses as a result. In Flanders in particular, the region around the Skelt River is vulnerable for flooding because it's a tidal river system. And that's why the Flemish government conceived the Sigma plan, which is a large-scale program to strengthen our dikes and to create a suitable habitat for man and nature. How we do this? By giving land back to nature, land that man has reclaimed on the river a long time ago. And our works make it possible for this land to flood once again on the rhythm of high tide and low tide, creating a valuable ecosystem with different types of plants and organisms. In fact, these mudflats and salt marshes are the organs of the river. They filter out the excess of nitrogen and phosphor, and they provide silicon and oxygen to the water, creating a natural and balanced ecosystem. To withstand the power of water, we build new dikes and strengthen existing ones. By 2030, we will have protected about 260 kilometers of river land. At the Hedwige Prosperpolder, Jan de Nol is working in an area of 465 hectares, which is the equivalent of 310 football fields combined. We are working on Belgian and Dutch crowns. The project is a crucial link in the realization of the Sigma plan. First, we started with excavating the trenches. With the excavated grounds, we build a ring dike of 4.8 kilometers, 9 meters high. This dike will protect the hinterland from the water of the Schelderin. Soon we will remove part of the existing dike, giving the river room to flood. This provides a unique opportunity to do destructive tests to learn its strength. By simulating a breach in the dike, we learn how much the dike can take during a storm and how to monitor them. These tests are part of a European project. Scientists from all over Europe come here to participate and learn from the results. By 2024, we will have completed the works on the Hedwige Prosperpolder, another milestone in the realization of the Sigma plan and the protection of nature and man.